Hey everybody, it's Emily, the Crazy Worm Lady. I wanted to give you this quick little midweek look inside the vermi bag window. As you will probably notice, there's quite a number of springtails, but also quite a large number of worms. So I am pretty pleased with this so far, but I just wanted to give you guys this look into the window and I'll be back with you guys for another update real shortly. If you look on the apple here right in the front, you will also notice um, a few pot worms as well. So we got a little ecosystem going on in here, but I just wanted to show you what was going on. So drop your comments below and I'll be back with you guys soon. Hey everybody, it's Emily, the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today for another vermi bag update. The worms seem to be really into these apples we put in here. And they've got a lot of help, it looks like, from the springtails. But um, I wanted to peek inside, see if they needed any more food, and um, check and see if we should add any more bedding. So let's get up top, and we will take a look. All right, so let's unzip our top here. This, um, where's my zipper? This mesh screen seems to be working relatively well, um, letting it breathe in here and keeping out the bugs. So this top layer has gotten really dry, but let's take a look at our apples. They're not even really breaking down yet. I think the worms are just really kind of enjoying being in this area. The castings around them are getting nice and dark. So that's encouraging. And they're definitely hanging out in all of this paper towel and all that um, is soaking up all the, the moisture from these apples. There's another good handful. Loaded down with springtails still, but that's okay. So I'm going to um, pile a little bit more of this bedding up in front of the window and move, squish these apples open a little bit more and move them back in front of the window here. I lost an apple somewhere along the way. Where did it go? Oh, the other apples down here in the bottom. So I punctured a few holes in these two apples. Here's the third one. I'll puncture a hole in this one too. It helps it break down more and then the worms can really get into it. But I'm going to kind of pile this bedding up beneath it to hold these apples right at the level of our window since that's fun to watch. And now I just want to dig through the rest of the bin a little bit. I always call it a bin. You obviously, you guys know it's a bag, the vermi bag. But um, it's habit. So we still have these um, paper towel rolls, toilet paper rolls, things like that. That are acting as um, a bedding in here. And this coconut core is still being processed. The worms seem to be kind of all, all throughout here. Let me pull this back a little so you can see better. It's definitely on the drier side. I'll have to add some more water to it today. And I'm thinking for added fun and benefit for us in front of the window, I'm going to add a little bit more food in front of it. You can see this onion's really not doing much of anything yet, so I'll break this up a little bit as well. So, let me get this food here. I have it super wet and nasty, but I think it will definitely entice the worms over here. 
So that is the remnants of some soup stock. Definitely really wet. That will definitely help the moisture in this bin bag. So I'm going to pile all of this, all of this food right in front of the window. I'll even add the onion skin over here. So I'm going to dampen down some of the rest of this coconut core that I'm going to finally be running out of soon. I'm happy I have so much of it. So let me add some of that um, I'm going to wet it down first to make sure it's not too dry, and then we will call it a day. So this is what our window looks like now. You can see the tops of our apples right there. And as it settles down, it's going to be right in front of our window. And there's still a good number of worms in front of the window as well. Okay guys, so I added a lot of coconut core in here. I pretty much brought the level almost even all the way up so it's not quite as sloped as it was before. Um, and I watered it before I added it and then I even added a bit more once I put it in here. And so now if I squeeze, I can get a few drops out which is what you want for good worm bedding. So. Um, hopefully this will be good for them for this week. They have a little bit more living environment that they can um, reproduce in, move around in, and hopefully give us some castings sooner rather than later. Um, so this is going to be the update for this week. I will check in periodically and maybe give you guys little glimpses through the window, but um, this is going to be pretty much it for this week. So please drop your comments below, like this video, and subscribe if you want some more content from me. And feel free to jump over to my um, website, thecrazywormlady.com. I understand from a reliable source that there will be some new blog posts going up this week. So I hope you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you soon.